Yo, <clears throat> what's going on, guys? I got a little bit of a tuber here for you today, and I don't know, I've been enjoying the new set a little bit. One thing I will note is your boy got hard stuck platinum one for a little bit, and uh, so there's all these tryhards. It's not platinum one, platinum one, because all the people who reset rank, I think your MMR stays or whatever, but everybody's for, like try hard in the climb, so the lobby's a little bit harder than usual. But we finally hit Emerald. All we got is Diamond. Then we're going to be back to Masters. And then probably pushing for Challenger here pretty soon. One thing I'd recommend you guys do in early game. Is always choosing Econ generating items, augments, things like that around 2-1. That way you can get your snowball going. And get off these early levels that kind of suck. Right? So in this instance you see me take the uh, Collector. And I do this because it's early in the game. We got a lot We got a lot of fights to be able to start collecting things. And another thing to note, even if I didn't have the remover here, guys, is late game, if you're playing Story Weavers, you sell the Sivra anyways and replace her with Irelia. But Sivra in the early game is a powerhouse of a unit. And I used to have a something I learned about this set versus the other sets is you used to put your items on like some subpar carry in the meanwhile so you can slam them at least and then transition them over to a higher tier unit but from my from my experience a lot of times it's just more it's just better to just stack the sivir right let her ramp let her do her things ginsu is really good on her a lot of attack speed ramping is really good on her that you can just slide over to really later on right and of course we want the attack speed on the kale ability As you can see, this guy went the sever to this little goon. And we're just going to be following standard leveling. If you guys don't know what it is, it's like on 2-5, you go 5. 3-2, you go 6. I think it's... 3-5 is a fast 7, but it changes up. It just depends on how much money you have, right? After that. Level 8 is usually 4-5. And we're just... We're starting to new boot goof on him a little bit. One thing I'd... Um, one thing is positioning really doesn't matter too much in the early game. You really, I want to keep my Sivir off to the left. That way she has more chance, more autos. Because as things walk in, they're going to kill the Zyra and the Kale. And she has a higher chance to collect. But usually later on, you want to have the Sivir where the Zyra is right now. That way when she gives the bonus attack speed to adjacent allies, you would um be able to gain more from that. Here we're starting to scout and look at what the spatulas make. And we're looking for the Story Weaver spatula, which is the chain vest here in case you guys didn't know. You know, this is the good part about um, playing the set is starting to get to the point now where I know all the good spatulas that make all the good stuff. Like, uh, what is it? Mystic or Mythic or whatever the hell it is, is like the spatula with the tier. Off the top of the Chrome Dome could be wrong, but pretty sure that's what it is. That and Story Weaver is the only one you really need to know. And now we're really strong for where we're at in the game. Having a Moomoo. A Moomoo is a giggle, giggy unit this set, guys, just for holding on to stuff, right? And there's not a whole lot to really explain here. We're just going to kind of be filling in the blanks here as we go and just playing matching pairs. Now, later in the game, if you aren't going full Story Weaver, you'll drop the Garen and the Zoe, and you'll tech in some other things and the Sivir. Eventually, you'll get down to just three star Kale, and you'll just be teching in legendaries like Rakan and things like that with Soraka. And this guy's giga strong, man. But for right now, we're in a really good spot. A uh, good rule of thumb is right before Krugs, you guys want to be about 20 gold. So us being at basically 40 here, we are uber duber rich. Just to give you a frame of mind of where you're at in like normal lobbies. And at this point, all we're going to be doing is abusing that XP bar. There's no point for us guys to re-roll or roll th for things anyways. Because if we um, get enough gold and we're able to push up in tiers here, we should have sold the Alilia so we gained 50 interest. I'm a noob. But, as you can see here, we hit the Kaisa really early into the game. Huge. Really huge. Getting trick shot, uh, trick shot out onto the board. We're going to have our girl collected now for us. And we're just going to be punching that XP bar where we can. See, this guy early leveled to 6. I don't know why he did, guys. Um, unless you're preserving streak or are confident enough to keep pushing streak. You know, there's no real reason to level up on 3-1. It's an awkward experience interval. 
um, in terms of like your gold just doesn't hit that XP bar efficiently. So I don't know. Another thing noted, Unified Resistance is really good in this comp because you get the Kale as like a free plus one to be able to get the bonus for it. And it's a lot of front to back in this comp. You don't have any units that you have to stagger positioning weirdly like Kane or something like that. And this is what I meant. So is our, uh, Sivir gives adjacent attack speed to both units. So you want her on that hex pretty much. She gives the Zyra attack speed and the Kale attack speed. And now we like really stabilized really hard. You know, we hit the we, we hit the lottery on the Kaisa here. So even if we are like losing some combats, it's just due to some people having some really busted boards now in the early game. Like um Faded is really good. And sometimes Yon will be really good with Umbral. Though those are the boards that kind of slap us up here. Also, we're, our whole board's one starred, besides the ribbon we just hit right now, and the Kale, I guess. But so we are gonna lose fights. But here's the bigger picture. We just have to hit seven kale. So we just gotta keep hitting the XP bar, get the Galio out on the board, get cooking on him, find the Zoe. Because seven kale is nothing to snuff at. We already hit the Kaisa, which like hard. We're never gonna take like a 20 HP loss or something like that, right? We're gonna be looking for tank items now because we have all the carry items that we could possibly need. So we're looking for chain vests, health, negatron cloaks, anything like that, right? Preferably on higher tier units so we can sell them for more gold, like three costs in this case. Since we have enough dash here, I mean, there's no point not to level up to seven. Usually this is considered a fast interval and you'd be about 30 gold, but you know, we're really high rolling. We're also not wasting our money on re-rolling. See, so this guy's broke. You know, he was rolling for like a Shen 3, I guess, and didn't hit. And it's fine if we lose, guys. It, one thing you have to be conscientious about is that we're at 70 HP. You know, there's a lot of gold that needs to hit level 8, and then, you know, it's 3, 12 gold for a Galio or whatnot. Just take your time, take breathers. Don't let your feelings get the best of you and think logically about what you're doing, right? So now with 10 levels being in the game, hitting level 9 is the norm. And if you guys are finding that you aren't really ranking up or leveling up, it's either you're playing reroll comps and chilling about level 8, which is fine. That's what you're supposed to usually hit when you like uh, do rerolls. But if you're not going for consistent reroll comps and you guys are chilling level 8, you guys are probably doing something significantly wrong with econ and spending your money or rolling wrong entirely, right? You should, on average, be hitting level 9. Or at least trying to. And trying to tech out like a plus one or something, right? And you also have to abuse your natural shops. Let the game give you it. Like, I'm still chilling on a sever one. Does it feel good? No, but I ain't gonna roll for it. We're at level eight here, so we just want to hit one Galio that we, we can hit the seven sever. Another thing to note that you guys might not be thinking about, so 4-2 is the standard interval for when people are usually going to, like, fast 8, 4-5, I think is the standard. So if you roll down on 4-1, there's a bigger pool of the higher tier units that'll be hitting your shops, right? So we did a little bit of a chunky roll down, that way we could at least hit the Galio. The other thing is we don't have any armor shred see so there's a kale ability that will give you like armor shred or whatnot we didn't choose to take that so we build the even shred on rakan and now we're just chilling we know we want to go on um, level nine here probably we might re-roll our donkey a little bit see if we can hit the galley or the kaisa i think we're really strong regardless here um three star kale is actually a giggy unit she puts in work And since we already pretty much hit all the things that we want to hit, guys, we're going to take the components here always. Now, if you're fast nining, guys, it feels really bad passing up on the components. But if you guys are fast nining, you really don't want to take the components because that extra shop really does make or break your run sometimes in terms of, like, hitting five costs and stuff. Being down a whole slot, guys, 
really is a big deal. So just don't think on Chogas Boon here that taking, oh, three, uh, three components always better. Not always the case. You know, would you rather have Rakan 2 or a Sunfire and a Chain Vest? You know what I'm saying? At this point, we're looking for a Chain Vest. That we, we can at least try to try for Bramble on Galio here. We already have uh, Health and Magic Resist on him. We need the final component here. There's some Aphelioses in the lobby, some little goons. And here's something to note, guys. So here you get to think to yourself, what is my win con, right? So going level 9, level 10, putting in a ton of legendaries is a win con. But when you guys are this far ahead on econ, start holding on to four costs. You know, if you miss out on a gold or two, who cares? Boohoo. But, you know, leave the out to be able to go for Kaisa 3, Galio 3, you know, these three star four costs that um, if you're, you're just got in the lobby, you're not getting like five way contestant on it. Greed for it. You know, there, it's a it's a possible win out, right? I'm not saying don't hit the XP bar. I'm just going to hold on to them as they come to me. I'm in no rush to get anywhere right now. I know a level 9 Soraka is going out on the board because um, Altruist 4, Giga Big. The other thing is because we're down a whole shop because of the Cho'Gath items, re-rolling for Galio or Kaisa here might be a game-throwing decision when you could just go level 10, right? That's another thing to note, right? You, you really got to understand your place in the game at a certain point. And at 5-1, guys, we know we're not going to get another, um, we know we're not going to get another component unless you have Lissandra who will farm you a component, guys. So, you know, you can just throw the large rod out onto the Zyra here. And this is like a little greedy turn, guys. I'm pushing level 9 here to keep my streak and like throw the Sorak out for Altruist 4. Really is griefing. Um, but it is what it is. I, I figure I have to roll for the Galio. And um, if, if I lose here, you know, can't do much about it. I really wanted to greed my gold. Which I you could argue that the streak is worth more gold is worth 3. The game's going to be coming to an end here soon anyways, right? I was also thinking I could go level 10. It's more consistent, you know, to keep the interest there. Or I mean the 50 gold over breaking threshold. And it really comes down to what the game gives me. If it gives me another few Galios, I might roll for the Galio. But right now we only have five. So... Something to think about. We're probably rolling for like the Kaisa here. We are level 9, one of the first people to hit level 9. So we have a bigger chance for legendaries here. This is what I meant by you, um, put in the Aurelia. And then we want to look for Lee Sin. That way we have the uh, Duelist for Aurelia and the uh, Dragon Lord, right? And I was also, I think, changing up, I really learned that going with the different Kale upgrades is good. I always think the attack speed one first is the best, but like the resurrect on the final one's a new one I never went before. So I, I actually quite like it. And now we have the chance to go level 10. Aurelia 1, Aurelia 2 really isn't, there isn't a difference. I mean, there kind of is, but not really. Once you have three items on her, she kind of more or less does the same thing, right? And now, since we're at the point where we're winning, it's more along the line denying. I don't think we're ever going to lose with this Galio 3. So I really should just be scouting out the other people in the game. See if one of them is going for a 3 star 5 cost, 3 star 4 cost, and just grab them and buy them and keep them on my bench because there's a finite amount of units in the game and at this point if you could just deny them i think you'll be in a good place 
I was really scared because Lissandra kept throwing my Galio into the back of my team. And then uh, Huey just kept hitting him with the nukes. But I don't think it really matters because Galio is just a big boy. This is what I mean by scouting. I was going to see if I could... What is he off? Is he off Aphelios? Is he off Thresh? I'm just going to start holding him on my bench. If he's going for Ash 3 or something like that, I could just snag him from him. We're just going to roll here for Aurelia too, and just buy units I think that these guys are going to want. I didn't lease into, here's like an insurance policy. I think at this point I figured like level 10 was out of my wheelhouse. It probably wasn't going to happen, it was too much gold. Really want to hit the Rakan too, the Aurelia too, Lee Sin too. All really big power spikes. Just because, guys, we have HP here, we're just holding on to interest because you never know. He might beat us here for a few combats, and then we had to go level 10 or something like that. Still max grading here where we can, right? But we're not winning. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I appreciate you stopping by, and peace.